Hi, it's me again, and I thought I'd do a quick little video today just to talk about some of the crap information about the TV license that's out there on the internet and why people are so confused as to why they need one or not. And if we can clear all this up for people, then you may find that a lot more people are more open to cancelling their TV license, right? Because then they know what you can and can't do. So let's take a look at this article and we'll have a bit of a chat about it. So the article's titled, How Do TV License Catch You and Can You Avoid? Excellent grammar already at the beginning, so you know it's going to be a quality article. How do TV license catch you is one of the most asked questions by TV viewers in the United Kingdom. Is it? I thought one of the most asked questions by TV viewers in the United Kingdom is, what's on next? Or, what's this shit on the BBC? Let's carry on. Most people relax by watching their favourite shows or channels on television, but sometimes you might get tempted to do so illegally. This may land you in serious troubles. In this comprehensive guide, let us look at how can TV license improve you are watching TV at home illegal. Why is this written by a primary school child or something? We will also explain the possible troubles that you may face for not paying the fee in time. So let's take a look at some of the information they're putting out on this article. And, um, you know, I stumbled across this on a simple search for the words TV license. So I'm, it's not like it's some minuscule thing. People will have will have read this and been given this information. Are you ready? Anyone who has a television at home needs a television license to access their favourite shows. Without one, you might be unknowingly breaking the law and thus are eligible for hefty fines. So the first part of the information they're giving you is completely and utterly false. Anyone who has a television at home needs a valid television license to access their favourite shows is false. You can have all the televisions you want. You can own a television repair shop if you want and still not require a television license. A television license is required to watch anything as it's being broadcast or to use BBC iPlayer. You can use endless amounts of catch-up services and streaming services, watch tons and tons of stuff all day, every day, even channel three, four, five, Discovery Channel, all that on demand. No license is required. Why does it not say this? False information. Going to start sounding like Trump soon, though I keep saying false information. Oh. And I just want to add this was updated on the 8th of May 2021, so this is an up to date thing. Since pirated shows are becoming rampant nowadays, the television license company has heightened its rules and regulations to their customers. They have also done a great job of detecting whether you are using your television illegally at home. Really? We'll come back to that. So how do TV license catch you? I don't think English was her first language. Or can they do that accurately? Currently, the company does have three robust strategies nationwide in the UK to check whether you are watching programmes on your television screen illegally. These include the following. Using the national database. First, we have their ever so handy national database. There are approximately 31 million addresses in there. But yeah, Capita TV licensing, whatever you want to call them, do have a database of all the unlicensed properties. But just because you're in the database doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It's not a legal requirement to have a television license. They can keep their database all they want. With their national database on hand, their visiting officers can also determine whether you have a television receiving equipment in your place. It doesn't matter. You get a knock on the door from a visiting officer, a capital goon, whatever you want to call them. But one, you don't talk to them, but two, you've got to remember, you can have a television. It doesn't matter. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? Using high-tech detectors. But aside from those two methods, they can also check if you're using TV receiving equipment in your place with the help of special high-tech equipment. However, according to our official website, these high-tech equipment are not revealed to avoid possible frauds. Makes no sense at all, does it? But if you haven't seen a previous video of mine, I did. It actually had a look inside the TV detector van and followed a couple of visiting officers around to look at their high-tech equipment, which is all complete nonsense. I'll put a link above or below. So, I mean, you'll find the link. But the other thing to remember is that not once in any of the prosecutions, and there has been prosecutions for watching TV illegally without a license, but not one time ever recorded has evidence been given by a TV detector van or handheld detecting equipment. Not once, not ever, not in any case ever. So what does that tell you? If they had all this gear, why would they not be using it constantly? 
Makes no sense. Why would they send visiting officers out? They could just park outside your house, test it, send you fine. Done. So it's all nonsense. What happens during their visit? So what happens when a visiting officer enters your house? Ho, 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 ho. First, they will inform you of the reason for their visit. Don't worry, because most of them are polite and respectful and observe proper etiquette every time they meet you. Once they enter your premises, they will conduct a quick visit around your house to check if you have a TV receiving equipment. They would then interview you and ask for your signature afterwards. They do this step for security and verification purposes. It's also to ensure they have an accurate account of your interview. Now, if you don't have a television license, legitimately, as I tell you to do, or not legitimately, up to you, you may very well get a visit. It says here, what happens when a visiting officer enters your house? Never, ever let them into your house. What you've got to remember is, and I've said it a million times on this channel before, but if you're new here, the visiting officers are door-to-door -door salespeople. They have no powers at all, and definitely no powers of entry. The only way they can enter your property is if you let them, and you should never, ever, ever let them. There's so much evidence that even if you're playing a straight game, they can stitch you up. So if you get a visit from a visiting officer, this is how you deal with it. You open the door, you say, hello, who are you? And they say, hi, I'm from TV Licensing. And you go, bang, not with your hand on their head, obviously, with your front door, just slam the door shut. Now, I've got a video about how to properly deal with this from people who have dealt with it. So it's like um, I do reviews of people's visits that they've had to see how well they did. I'll put links below to that playlist. Take a look because that is how you deal with it. There's a guy, he opened the door, he said, who are you? So I'm TV licensing and he shut the door. He said, no, thank you, shut the door. Stay polite, there's no need to kick off, no need to like, start shouting and everything on your doorstep. But they don't have any powers of entry. Their only job is to get their commission by selling you a television license or getting you a fine. Do not talk to them, this is wrong. This should be telling you they may ask to enter your home and you then have the choice to say yes or no. This really annoys me, this article, because I found this quite easily, which means other people can find this quite easily, and this is all wrong information. I wouldn't be surprised to find that this was put out by Capital or something, you know. How can I tell if I'm breaking the law? But how would you know if you're breaking the law? According to TV license, these are people who watch and record shows on the television or through any online streaming platform like iPlayer without a valid license. Again, it's wrong. Now, without a television license, legally you can't watch or record anything as it's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer, but you can use all the catch-up services. So you can use the ITV Hub, you can use all four, I think it's called, My5, you can use... Uh, now TV and watch all the Sky programs on catch up. You can use Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Apple TV, all of these things you can use legitimately without a TV license. Again, right? I, I just hope that not many people have seen this, but I would really, really imagine that people who are looking into it may have stumbled across this and been given false information and made them continue to pay for a TV service they may not really require. Whereas if they come to our channel that we've made here together, they would have got the correct information, wouldn't they? So scrolling down to the bottom of this page, watching your favorite shows at home. Watching your favorite programs using your television is among the most relaxing activities you can do at home. But in the UK, you would need a registered license to gain access to these shows legally. If you think you can overcome the government's rules and regulations, we hope that this article clears that thought. Remember, the company conducts various methods on how TV license catch you if you do not have a valid permit. So we suggest you watch moderately and legally to avoid paying hefty penalties in the future. This was written by Christina Mooley, a highly motivated tech writer. She is a front-end developer and has a strong background in technology. Obviously not a strong background in facts, though, because again... She says there, in the UK, you would need a registered license to gain access to these shows legally. No, you only need a license if you're watching the shows as they're being broadcast. If you switch to catch-up services, no license is required, Christina. If you think you can overcome the government's rules and regulations, we hope that this article clears that thought. No, I think this article's been put out to put a lot of misinformation out because... This doesn't clear anything up. It makes it all worse and more confusing for everybody. It's wrong information, Christina, and I'm going to find a way to email you and I will 
rewrite this for you so you can copy and paste it in with the correct information. How's that? So what do you think of this article put out by this Christina? I personally think it's just an absolute mess and it's going to confuse a lot of people who very well may not require a television license, but it scared them into thinking they do need one and it's all completely wrong, every single part of it. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Like I said, I'm going to email this Christina with an updated version of this and hopefully she'll just copy and paste it and fix this little problem. Oh, also, while you're down there leaving your comments, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, but we're getting really close to 40,000 subscribers now. You know, we're getting to be quite a powerful channel here. And the bigger we can get, the more change we can push for, you know, and the more of a platform that we'll get in the future. Because I swear that they're all reading your comments. All the people, Captain, I bet they scroll through and read some of your comments, and I bet they've watched some of these videos. So the bigger we can make this channel, the more power we will have, so please do hit the subscribe button. And it keeps you up to date with the latest videos when I put them out as well. Speaking of the latest videos, I'll see you in another one of those videos pretty soon, I think. Thanks for watching.